How are we going, folks? I've got the man himself, Craig Castry. How are you, buddy? Good, buddy. How are you? Good to see you. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome there. Can you turn the heater on down here, mate? Bloody hell, it's freezing cold. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise it was on. Hey, the cold air? Yeah. Oh, the hot air. You want hot air? No, 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 no. We can probably find enough of that anyway. OK, so, well, yeah, let yeah. me start up a bit here and you'll start to <laughs> see it coming out of me up shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so, we're looking at your little book here. Now, this is not a little book. It's amazing. It's it's little in size but packed full and of information. Uh, information. Yeah. It's yeah. a giant yeah. book for everybody yeah. to have. Look, it's, it's about, um, you know, probably nearly five years in the making. Really? Yeah. Well, you caused that. It's... <laughs> Look at this. Everything that happens in everybody's life is my fault. Well, what can I say? Is it a good problem? Is it a good oh, fault? Absolutely it is. I absolutely. hope so, for once. You know, Thank so. God for that. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Well, no, no, seriously. I'm, I'm a man of, you know, I'm very big on sign language, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> No, no seriously, seriously. I know, I know you are. Um, I know you are. Y you know, we, we, we go back a long time. For those who haven't seen us before or seen us together, um, it's not a pretty sight, <laughs> as you can tell already. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having visions of both ends of this world. Uh, we go back many years, decades, in fact, and, yeah. uh, and it's all been about gardening and obviously yeah. bringing awareness to the community on how to practice it and dumb it down and keep it simple. Yeah. Um, and we've been on our own, you know, in our own war path, and obviously both in the same direction. And if you were to, you know, physically see how we work, you'd, you'd be in lane one, I'd be in lane two, and we're heading for the war. Mm. And, and, and we've been winning a few battles along the way. Yep. And your lost battle. A few, but well, one well of each. yeah. Well, we we've lost a couple of battles, but mm. we're going to win the war. Yeah. That's, that's how it, I like to think. And your challenges are along the journey were to create all these wonderful books. Now, what number is this now? Well, this is number five. Number five. Congrats yeah. on that one too. Yeah, and and it's all been. I suppose when we first started, was I said you, you've got a what was what was the expression well, I used? What, what, what you did, what, you, you, what, you <laughs> came down to the orchard. Did I? And then you came to my place. Yeah. And at the end of it. And we, 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 it was a big, uh, big day, a, a big we? show. No, it was a big show that we put together. It was over an hour. Um, probably one of the largest shows I think that I've ever watched. TV show. TV shows. Yeah. I can't remember. It was the Channel Thirty One. Oh show. really? Wow. And at the end, when we finished, yeah. uh, well, it was starting to pack up. We yeah. sat down, and had a glass of wine. I yeah. think Perhaps yeah. Lewis had one too, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> can't remember. Um, you probably you would have said it. <laughs> you can't go to the grave knowing what you know. You should write a book. I did, did I? Yep. And wow. I said, mate, I've got no idea how to write a book. Fourth form education, what the hell would I know? <laughs> okay. And you said, you've got a publishing house. We'll put you, just write down what's in your head and we'll, we'll knock it into shape with the editor. The editor will put, make a book together. out of it. But he said, you got, you've got to put some of this stuff down. What we've learnt today yeah. is, is worth sharing. Yeah. So that planted the seed. And blow me down if about, you know, maybe 18 months later, we published that first book, Edible there Gardens, go. A Practical Guide. Wow. wow. But during that course of the time, I start with, because of the grafting days, yeah. and we've got one coming up on the 7th of August again down at Werribee Park. So, yeah, um, for those in Victoria, that yeah, is, yeah. yeah. So, so, well, actually, Australia wide, because we had people come along, uh, flown in and stayed oh, overnight. People have come, come from different parts yeah, of Australia. Yeah, okay, because yeah, it's, yeah. A very, it, it's a very unique thing to have happen, all those wonderful rare heritage varieties in one place at one time. Okay. Anyway, we digress. That's okay. Let me just quickly tap tap on that. A lot of people have been asking about the actual uh, uh, grafting day or where they can get signed wood and things like that. And yep. I mentioned that so they can get it at yes, this absolutely. event. Yes, absolutely. Because they're going, when are we going to be able to get these cuttings of these apples and, yep. you know, heritage apples and pears and so yep. on. Yep. So these will be available. What's you the date? I mean, we still... 7th of August. 7th of August. Oh, the grafting day, so yep. May, June, July, at least two or three months away. Yep, correct. We'll announce it again closer to date, yeah, folks, yeah, so you can put it yeah. in your diary. And we'll share it on the socials yeah. as well. All right. But um, there's a lot of information that gets shared at those grafting day events about heritage trees. Mm -hmm. You know, what pollinators they are, what flowering groups they're in, you know, they're bigger, how big they grow. And that's so, important, you know, when you're putting together a multi-grafted apple tree, you don't want three different types of vigor mm -hmm. on that one apple. So mm -hmm. where do I find that information? Yeah. And I'm afraid it's a very hard thing to try and find that information. Yeah. There's a bit of it about, but nowhere in one spot. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the books that are available for growing and grafting fruit trees are not from here. Yeah, different They're countries. often from the UK. There's a few yeah. that have um, been written by Australians, but it's a long time ago. Yeah. And you planted that seed, and I decided to start and knock some of this information together. And slowly over the course of time, I've added 
to it, including you know pruning. People, people don't are not sure how to prune. But they still don't know. That's it. You know, I mean, it's, it's it? always an, an ever ever learning Absol um, environment. A a absolutely. So, what shape mm. do I prune to? Mm. You know, um, what trees are best suited to what shapes? Yeah. How do I espalier? Yeah. Mm. You know, and when it comes to grafting, what, what is grafting graft? and when do I, I graft? graft? How do I graft? When do I prune? Yeah. Can I so graft I, apples on lemons? That's it. That's it. That's you a know? So, um, so I decided that it was time to put all this information together. Mm. And, you know, look, I get hundreds of emails per week asking these sorts of questions. Mm. And I try to get to all of them, but it's, as you know, it's mm. next to impossible to try and get to everyone. I post and daily. And then you get abused. Yeah, well. <laughs> I, I haven't. No, 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 I haven't no. been that yeah, unfortunate. No. But well, you're more, more efficient than I am. Well, no, 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 just a smaller scale, I think. So, oh, God. but but more to the point, um, you know, and I post on a daily basis yes. uh, on my website as well as the social you media. You, you go all out on that too. But um, it's nice to have a, a all hard in and one fast space. copy. And okay. So we've gone from edible gardens, a practical guide, yep. to the next one. Uh, plant profile. So yep. that teaches you how to grow what you yep. plant in, in your garden. edible gardens, um, along with all those companions Companion and so forth. Companion planting and how to grow it. The, the next, next book was A Simple Urban Life. Yep. So that's just and that's really down. about... Um, just bringing you know, it back to, back to basics, would that be right? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's really about um, being more self-sufficient on an yep. urban block of land and trying to get the chemicals out of your food by... Um, being able to produce your own staple foods, things like bread and passata making and cheese. how to make pasta and cheese yes. and, and charcuterie, all the yep. things that you're told not to eat yep. because you, <laughs> know, you can buy it at people the are putting preservatives already. and nitrates and stuff in them. Yeah. I've worked out a way of being able to keep them fairly natural and yeah. keep that sort of stuff out and well, off your well, plate. Let's just take it back a few decades. <laughs> I'm sure most of those preservatives weren't around and if they were, that would be well, a well, much... Uh, some preservatives, things like salt, sugar and spices. Yeah, all right. Yeah, natural yes that's but what then I mean. there are preservatives like nitrates yes but which are, are, are not good for you that what my point is like if you went back into the 1930s even oh, yeah, earlier no, none no. of that stuff existed it was no. just salt salt sugar honey you yeah know, correct there was no chemical it was. Yeah. yeah so yeah. and we'll talk a bit more about that that's the next further on. yeah we'll, we'll, we'll talk about, I'm saving about my energy that for that one. yeah <laughs> but um a simple urban life really was it, it, it's a bit of a look at the food system um and, and what has happened to it and where it started out and, and, and in terms of, you know, the impact that supermarkets have had throughout Australia and what that's done to our diets mm. and, and so on. And I've got over 40 plus different recipes in there from making bread all the way up to cheese, um, even yeah. a Christmas cake in there, yeah. believe it or not. Oh, Maybe yeah. how to make your own limo There's no jello. excuse that you can't eat something No, that's right, yeah. you know. So, so that was the, uh, the third book. The fourth, <laughs> fourth book, book was edible gardening secrets so all the little tips and tricks and and tidbits that a lot of really you know, old gardeners yeah. either didn't share or didn't pass on oh, uh, and all the things that i've found that short circuit and have had have made gardening a breeze for me you know yeah. things that um make things easy to do you know putting a net over a tree yeah it can be difficult Techniques. don't do it on ladders yeah. but there's a gadget you can yeah. make that's Simple really cheap advice and uh, to help you yeah. there you know so and that's in um edible, edible garden secrets. secrets yeah and now this one uh, and now growing this one. and grafting fruit trees for the aussie backyard is the only uh, just came out a couple of weeks ago five. if that yes it's hot yeah. off the press pretty Fantastic. well so um and there's plenty of copies and you get them both on uh, your website and, and your mine website. So, so in here, for anybody who's got some fruit trees at home or, you know, even ornamental trees, I suppose you can apply that to that. Oh, know. absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. This, yeah. this is not just necessarily yeah. pruning habits yeah. can be used and applied. I mean, you can aspire anything. Exactly. You know, you don't, yeah, it so doesn't have to be a fruit tree. Exactly. You, know, so you can apply the, the same principle on any type yeah, of tree, absolutely. Uh, providing it is a, a tree. And in terms of pruning, I mean, it talks about where to prune um, and how to encourage, you know, different, different types, types of, growth. Of, of growth on yeah. certain Whether trees flowers, because of fruit, the way they fruit. Yep. You know, um, it, it also discusses at some length as to um, knowing what you get your fruit from. Because if you don't know what that is before you start pruning, you're likely to be cutting that timber off. Oh, well, timber, you get your fruit off. Yes. So what, where does the fruit grow along that branch? On yeah. the tips so, or so, along so the branch on the spurs? So yes. on a peach, for instance. Yeah. So what sort of timber should I, I be looking you, for? Can, go, go ahead. You know, so, so if you're cutting off 
triple buds, yeah. you're cutting off all the fruit wood. Uh, and if, and you if you're doing that in winter, <laughs> you're not going to get the flowers in spring. I had an email come through, as you said, many emails that come through, and a guy's gone, I've gone and pruned all my fruit trees, never done it before. I think I've done a good job. My wife hates me now. Can you please confirm and verify I've done everything okay? So we've got a peach tree, right? You've got the trunk, you've got a branch, branch, branch. The tops are taken off. <laughs> All the shoots of the side strips. So he's oh, got no. three stubs, <laughs> basically, like that. Well, they produce fruit this springtime. Mm, I, looked at it. Not. I looked at it. I couldn't answer it straight away. And that's exactly what you're saying. Yeah. If you yeah. don't know where the fruit grows on the yeah. tree or how, yeah. and you start pruning, well, you've got a high chance yeah. of taking off where your fruit will be. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So it's it's really, uh, you know, the book exposes yeah. what sort of buds grow on what type of yeah. uh, trees so yeah. that you know what not to cut off. And what to look for. Yeah. So, so that's um, pruning and grafting on yeah. fruit trees. In the plus, Australian plus, gardens. Yep. Plus gardens. the other thing too is that I've put in a comprehensive list of, um, you know, for plums, apples, peaches, nectarines. Companions. And so on. Uh, no, no, no. Th oh. These are their pollinators. Oh, okay. So there's a table in here. That will tell you what plants Well, it'll tell you. Pollinate your plant. Um, the vigour, whether it be small, medium or large. Okay. So whether it's self-fertile or yep. whether it's a triploid, diploid yep. or tetraploid. You're swearing again. <laughs> <laughs> it's uses, cooking, eating, keeping, cider or multi-purpose. Yep. Um, it's flowering grip, whether it be early, mid, mid or late, late. Yep. and in terms of the harvest. Yep. If there's an also known name as, so for instance, snow apple yep. um, is pom de neige. Yes. But there are a group of apples that are also known as snow. Yeah. Which but goes into that, so that. AKA, yeah. yeah. Um, whether they're good for asparagus or not. And it also gives you some information on chill hours <coughs> because low, medium, and high chill hours will depend on. So out here, you'll get you know, a good amount of chill hours. Yeah. Whereas closer to the city, you, you don't, don't get as many chill and, hours. So you don't want to use a high chill that needs, in a low in a, chill area, yeah. area, so area you know. Warm so areas so, have won't chill yeah, enough, yeah, it won't so, open properly. And that'll give you, uh, uh, and yeah, that's so a, guide, a good that's comprehensive a basic guide. guide. So, There's a know, lot in there. And oh, you've got yeah, images and illustrations on how to graft, have you? Yep, absolutely. So, um, so let me get, get open I've, to I've that. I've got the so, book about two weeks now, I still haven't read it. <laughs> My bad. So, so rather than take photographs, yeah, because yeah. sometimes photographs don't don't really show you exactly what you're you trying to uh, to depict. So you're showing a couple so of photos. So I, I did all of these. You did the drawings yourself? Yeah, on 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 a computer, mate. So <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a learning curve. This is good. So there's that. So, so these are bark grafting. There's plenty in there for everybody. Oh, look, really. there's a huge. So yeah. if you've got trees at home, folks, that you're not really happy with, or it's sort of not productive mm -hmm. as much anymore, yeah. um, this book will show you how to cut that off at knee height mm -hmm. and start insert again. four new varieties. You can yep. put four new varieties into that and start Crown again. Crown graft or something. Yeah, and be yeah. back in my, as little as 18 months to be picking oh. fruit again from that that's tree. That's true, that's true. You know, so, so there's um, no reason why you can't change a tree that's otherwise not producing no. well for you um, or grown out or, of shape completely. Or, or add to your Existing or add to existing varieties if you want to grow the varieties yeah. you have in a small space. And I've covered um, 16 different types of grafts that you'll find very handy, right from repairing a tree that may have been damaged by a whippersnipper mm -hmm. or a, a rabbit one side, <laughs> how you can bridge graft yep. to, to supply yep. cambium back yep. on that side yep. of the yep. tree, yep. Um, right through to um, even green grafting. Really? So grafting out of season. Yep. So. Fantastic. So it's available, available on the, yep, yep, as both website, the website, VasilisGarden.com and PlateCastry.com.au. Plate That's it, folks. So. Growing and grafting fruit trees for the Aussie Gardener. And and along with all those other books too, plus there's deals on it, both websites for uh, package deals in a month. So. There's no yeah. reason why you can't graft your own trees Absolutely. and maintain them properly. Yep. Um, and obviously you can still send emails out to us and hassle us and we'll be happy to answer every question we can, yeah. Yeah. providing you keep it to the garden. <laughs> yes. It's yes. a pleasure, mate. Good to no see worries. you again. Yeah. Have all a good best. one. Thanks.